Good day, fellow investors. Intel is not about next quarter. That's not why the stock is down. Intel is about the long term and the huge bet they are making on AI. Today's video, I want to give you a value investing perspective on Intel based on the recent quarterly earnings that came in yesterday. Client computing group revenue doing well, 33% up, but there is again something that is very important here because of the reserved inventory and inventories went down by 3 billion so they could have pushed sales as lately the last few years they have been really focused on trying to please Wall Street as much as possible. In their summary, their summaries are always so exuberant and uh, re-establishing technology leadership. There was a good question in the conference call about other competitors. They are also investing and in how they plan to re-establish technology leadership. They beat on revenue, gross margin, EPS, but still it doesn't look good as you'll see in a moment. And then the strategy there is to bring AI everywhere. And that we'll also discuss the 1 trillion semis industry revenue by 2030. But data centers haven't performed as well further Foundry services are still irrelevant. And yes, they have given an outlook for Q1 2024 with minimal earnings per share that they say are better than last year's quarter. But these earnings are totally fake because on revenues of 12, 13 billion, the real loss is minus $1 billion because of the following accounting change that they had made last year where they said that now their property plant and equipment that isn't making any money now is worth more and therefore they will depreciate it over a longer time span. That added $4 billion in earnings to Intel. So without the accounting change, Intel would be losing $4 billion per year and everything would be looking much much worse. Further, they are spending 12 billion on negative cash flows but still paying dividends. That's just increasing the risk of an investment and paying dividends of course because they are pleasing Wall Street. But they are not only pleasing Wall Street, they are also pleasing themselves. And share-based compensation is 3 billion for a loss-making company. Oh no, they adjusted that so they it is not a loss-making company so that they can issue 3 billion of shares to themselves. That's a huge compensation for a company that is not making any money or let's say some money but then that money is given to managers. With the compensation, with the investments and everything, their debt last year went up almost 10 billion which is increasing the risk and yes when you ask the CEO he thinks next year will again be great because they are gaining momentum in the sales and everything look good Q4 2023 but if there is a recession if there is a slowdown like we have seen 12 months ago then this will not work as expected and ugly things will happen to Intel. Now they are always having something that they are doing better than others closing in on this closing in on that but that is always something in the future they are now investing big in the system foundry that is a huge risk in relation to the investment and they are investing because they think that AI will be everywhere and they will be the second largest external foundry by 2030. But a lot of money is going into that and the key driver for them is the 1 trillion semiconductor industry by 2030. However, let me show you the semiconductor price index. Here it was at 4000 beginning 2022. 22 was bad and prices went down almost to 2000 for the index. So that's a 50% drop. This means that the addressable market in 2030 could be 1 trillion or if we have a recession, half a trillion. That's a huge difference and a huge risk to make such big investments. And yes, semiconductors prices now are extremely high 
as they were in 2022, then very low. And if we have a recession, global recession slowdown, despite the AI revolution, this will again go lower. And the lows here are really incredible. And this exuberance around AI reminds me of the dot-com bubble. And you can see here the exuberance in prices, investments, everything. The internet came a little bit delayed we all use internet now, but prices reverted to normality despite the internet boom in the 2000s. So prices might revert to normality despite the IE happening. Therefore, even if the IE happens and there is just a slowdown, even Intel doesn't make much money. So the hundreds of billions of investments into everything IE doesn't pay off and that's why Intel now is a huge investment risk. Not more a value investment like it was when it was trading around book value a year ago as we discussed. Thanks for watching. When Intel crashes 50% we might discuss it again. Until then enjoy the AI gamble.